What's going on guys? Welcome back. Madden 16 Commentary, E3 Los Angeles 2015. Do me a favor, like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section, Twitter. Shutdown Safety is my username. So I did get to spend, I wouldn't say a significant amount of time with the game yesterday because it was kind of spotty gameplay here and there, a quarter, a half, whatever the case may be, but I did want to give you guys my impressions on it. I did not spend enough time with the game to know how consistent these issues and fixes, if you will, are going to be, but I did want to leave you guys with some interpretations of what I took from the game. Uh, number one, the gameplay in its entirety was very much slowed down. I know there's some people that don't like that. Personally, I do like it. I think it lends itself to more user control, uh, less kind of shifting and warping issues that we've seen in the past. Uh, I will say that I was not a fan of the new defensive back and wide receiver interactions. Uh, that's a personal thing with me. I don't like games to feel like a button mash, and I certainly don't want to leave you with the impression that may be all it is. I know that there's some people that do appreciate the fact that more control is in the game. I know I do. Uh, I just don't like that being interpreted through hitting more buttons. Uh, as an example of that gameplay, I had a situation where T.Y. Hilton was wide open on a streak. Uh, I threw a lob pass out to him, and then all of a sudden, because I actually hit the wrong pass button, it wasn't as easy a completion as it would have been because I wasn't leading the receiver to a degree with his catch. Um, so just to kind of put a Madden 15 spin on that, the videos before where we may have been able to make where the wrong catch animation was used can now be attributed to the user not actually selecting the right catch button. I will say the AI, at least from the running perspective, has improved. There was a situation, for example, where I was speaking with Goldenberg. He was going over some fixes in the game that can be attributed to my videos. Going to have some content out about those coming up in the next couple of weeks. He did not know what team I was playing based on the way the running back read the defenders to score a touchdown. And it is one thing I immediately noticed because I actually pursued on an outside run to where historically a running back and man would have went. Yet, because the game seems to have an improved logic in that standpoint, the running back went in different directions, which I was not prepared for because I'm not used to the game reacting that way. So, the other point to it would be a lot of polish, a lot of refinement, uh, particularly after the play, you know, the players, you know, clunking and falling over. I know that seems like a trivial thing. It uh, didn't seem to happen really w with any frequency. And again, you know, also please note, again, limited gameplay, so I don't know how frequent that's going to be attributed, but I did notice that. I was not able to hear any presentation, so I don't know about, you know, any audio upgrades or commentary upgrades, but I will be more than forthright if you'd like to leave some questions for me down in the comments section. I'll be glad to answer them as best I can. Thank you guys for checking this out. I'll be back probably in an hour or so, two hours, who knows, with more content.